Boy, good morning. It's me, Melissa, at Safe Haven Ministries. I've got a word for you this morning. Now, you're going to think when I start speaking this that I'm talking to pastors only. Oh, no. This is for anybody and everybody that's a believer and deals with people. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22, it says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. I was so fortunate when I started in ministry, I had some super good mentors that came, a lot of pastors in town came alongside me, uh, gave me good advice and, and kind of directed me in the way I needed to go. And so, um, it says abstain from all appearance of evil. The word abstain, it's a Greek word. It's A-P-E-C-H-O, apeko. And it's really interesting. It means to deliberately withdraw from, stay away from, or put distance between you and something else. It's to intentionally abstain. Not just by accident, but you, you make sure you abstain. And in 1 Peter, that same word, epeko, it says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul. Now, in this case, it's you're going to have to move yourself away from something. And the other examples of a peko in the Bible, let me give you some of them. And they all mean basically the same, same thing, to get away from, to re refrain from. In Luke 7, 6, the word epeko is used when it's des describing the physical distance between Jesus and the centurion's home. Uh, Matthew 15, 8 and Mark 7, 6, it's talking about human hearts that have gotten so hard that there's a distance between them and God, a long distance. In Acts 15, 20, this is James, and he's talking to the Gentile believers, and he's letting them know that they need to abstain from making offerings to idols, from sexual immorality, uh, from the meat of strangled eating the meat of strangled animals, and the consumption of raw blood. Ugh, they wouldn't have to tell me that one. That one's a given. But this word epeko is so strong, they stuck another little word with it, and what it means is, it means that you permanently, con just permanently terminate your contact with all these other things. Just push them away. Get them as far away from you as you can. Keeping that in mind, abstain from all appearance of evil. It's not the action. You know, it's not always the action. Sometimes people can misinterpret things and because you've been careless. You know, if I, uh, if someone saw me, let's say uh, there's an offering plate and somebody saw me put money in my pocket, what would they think? they think, she just stole the money from the ministry. What if I just put it in there to carry it to the back room? See, we can, something innocent like that. You don't ever want to do some stupid thing like that. I, I think about it a lot. You know, I, am I, I want to be sure that I'm making a good impression and people are not going to question me. The word from, when it says abstain from, that means, again, put distance between yourself and something else. Appearance. That's edos, E-I-D-O-S. It's only used five times in the New Testament. But it, it's something that resembles, uh, it resembles something. In other words, it, it doesn't matter what you think or what you know to be true. What matters is how does it appear to somebody else? How does it appear? You know, if I, I I'm very careful in the building when I minister to people. Uh, especially men, if they come in, I'll either call Jerry and say I'm in the building with someone. Sometimes if it's, uh, you know, someone that I feel like he needs to be here, he'll be wandering out in the other room. He doesn't stay in the session, but he's in the building. And I do that not, not because I don't trust this person, but because I have to protect my reputation. Um, I also have a reputation even with uh, when when I remember when we first started this organization, uh, we had a board member come to me and she said, I want this ministry above board. You can sign checks, 
but you are not allowed to write checks and you're not allowed to be with the money. I think that's wisdom. I, I truly do. And I appreciate that word of advice because it, it's paid off in the end. So many people damage their reputation and don't even think about it. They get on Facebook and say stupid, stupid stuff. They, 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 uh, their actions, they, they hang with the wrong people in the wrong places and they think, you know, nobody's going to think anything. People do. Just be careful that you know what you're doing and you think it through to the end. How much is your reputation worth to you? I don't know about you, but mine's worth a whole lot to me. And I want to be sure that nobody ever questions my my honesty, my sincerity, and the truth from the word that I that I proclaim. I don't want to bring Jesus down because I ended up falling into something I shouldn't have fallen into. So it's not, like I say, it's not just the action. It's the keeping it so that it looks on the up and up. Let me read it to you the way it would read if we change that around a little bit. It means you need to terminate terminate contact with any place, action, language, or relationship that give people the wrong idea that you're doing something wrong. That's what they think. It doesn't matter what you think is acceptable. What matters is what other people perceive. So put a great deal of it distance between yourself and anything you're doing that people could take the wrong way. Amen? I, I believe that. And I, I see people who have a sincere heart. They love the Lord. But these things are not in action. And they do things that I think, oh my goodness, somebody's going to not understand this at all. So just be careful and abstain from all appearance of evil. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you right now for these people. Lord, help us to watch our reputation as a believer and guard it very carefully, Lord, very carefully. I just thank you right now for who you are and what you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless. I will see you tomorrow. Amen. See ya.